Hey guys. Ew, I'm so annoying. <laughs> Anyways, I was not expecting to pick up my camera. I'm literally sitting at home right now. Um, I just got home. I'm in my robe. This robe is from Victoria's Secret. It is literally so comfy and so light. But I just got home. Me and my sister decided to do a photo shoot in our house. We just got like one of those um, thank you TikTok for the idea. But it was one of those white sheets. And we just put it onto her wall. And just took tons of pictures. Long story short. Cousin's girlfriends um, I got really close with. And she posted a picture of her skin on her Instagram story and I was like oh my god your skin and we had kind of the same skin complexion and I just saw her in December and I know she's had a struggle with acne before but her skin just looks so good and I was like oh my gosh like what have you been doing she actually told me she was using this sea moss mask that she's been making and I was like sis like put me on and so uh, she blends it with two different herbs but she sent it to me just her face mask product that she's been making. Um, and so I told her I would take a video and I would show like a before and after picture. She said within seven days she saw like a difference in her skin. So I'm gonna see how mine lasts, but I'm going to try every day, take a before and after picture like morning and night. Um, maybe, maybe morning and night, I don't know yet. But, and then just come on here and just kind of give you my and put on it and how it's been helping my skin. I actually got another new product. I actually got a couple new products. I do use Curology, which has helped tremendously. Like, I cannot recommend it. From when I started Curology, and I've been on it for about, yeah, over a year now. So I will never change my face products ever again. Literally, I have my face wash, my lotion, and, um, this other like treatment to help with the dark pigmentation. I do use the Think Dirty app and typically that I've been and I will stay using that app. There are some things where I'm like, oh, it looks natural, but I'm trying to move more organic, plant-based face care and hair care. I do actually I did order God, um, shampoo, conditioner, and two different leave-in conditioners and another like styling gel. I did just buy a couple new products, but I realized I never thought about the ingredients side of it until I, I figured whose post I saw on there, more organic products. So I was like, maybe I shouldn't start doing that and actually taking care because my hair has grown so much over the past year. Like my curls have gotten so good. My curls have got so good. Like, they're so good. And my hair is growing, and I feel like the hair is here growing even. And so, yeah. So, that video was a lot longer than I expected. Um, but, basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys my before and after in my experience. She said to put it in the fridge, and then she, she sent it to me on Friday. I got it today, like, this morning. And so I put it in the fridge this afternoon and then she said to put it on for about, I think 15, 20 minutes, she said. So, and she said she was doing it every day for a week and saw different. So maybe I'll see the difference. And I'm going to take off my makeup and actually I was just telling my boyfriend, I only have like a little bit of concealer on and a little bit of powder and my skin actually looks really good. And so like literally I don't even have face makeup on. All I did was a little bit of eyeshadow from, um my anastasia and this <laughs> i don't even know her name from her um what palette is it he doesn't know makeup I do have some good products i use bare minerals i've always used bare minerals i use their tinted moisturizer and their powder literally that's it and then i used a um um, liquid gel pen for my eyeliner and actually I never was good at doing winged and now I can just do it like easily I guess it just takes practice and my eyebrows guys they're wild but they never looked they never I guess to say they never used to look good um like when I didn't have them done but all I use is this brow gel and it works so well it's tinted so it has a color it's like a dark brown to my eyes are dark brown like my eyebrows and my hair so it's really all I use I don't fill them in and he looks in the camera hella close um 
And then, oh yeah, my eyeshadow, never told you. I use, oh, the contour kit. Duh. If you guys care, I can link that stuff down below. I do highly recommend it. Um, it's easy. I never break out. It's usually totally fine. Never have problems. It, the tinted moisturizer does make your skin a little oily. And actually, I put on sunscreen. I think that's another big, like, an important key to your routine should be sunscreen. I wear sunscreen every day, no matter if it's cloudy or not. I'm like, oh, Chloe, it's so pretty. Like, that's from my window. What? I don't know what my new obsession is with clouds, but I don't know. It's just so beautiful. I guess I never was able to see clouds from my old room, but it's just so pretty. Yeah, like, look how I'm literally so close. I never thought I'd be this close to my camera, but feeling confident in my skin and in my hair and I just keep touching it because it's just so soft so I actually will maybe I'll show you guys that routine at some point with my drugstore products and then I am getting my new ones probably the end of this month I think so then I'll do like a different care but like I haven't washed my hair in like maybe over a week and a half I almost forget sometimes to wash my hair but like my hair doesn't get oily but it's so good for my hair like Sorry, I'm like kneeling because I still don't have a camera stand or a ring light. So that's why this video is going to get dark. But really. And she got length. Ooh, look at that. That spiral. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to stop obsessing. I might not wash my hair tonight. And just leave it like this and just wear my bonnet. I have a bonnet here. <laughs> She's not cute. I wear this every night and this helps my curls. But I'm gonna go shower. So I still haven't eaten dinner. I think literally I've been, my routines have been off. When I say off, I mean off, off. It's eight o'clock now, I still haven't showered. I've been so lazy. But see, here we go with the butt again. I need to stop. Really need to stop. But okay, I'm gonna stop prolonging this and just go do the damn thing. Okay, 20 minutes later, I made these little chocolate Reese's cups. And they were hella good. And so I was eating that talking to my grandma. But I'm in the bathroom now and I'm going to shower. But I'm just going to show you guys this before. Okay, I just got out of the shower. This is me. Bare face. Well, as you can see in that mirror, but it's a little foggy, so this is me. A little dark pigmentation. Yeah, okay, and I'm going to actually show you guys my night routine. Like, why not? So I'm going to show you my products that I use in the shower and then after I get out of the shower. My face wash I use, and then I go in with this. <laughs> the bottle, the stickers come off of it when it gets wet, so, but this is my lotion, and then this is skin pigmentation corrector lotion and so i just put that on after face so that's my curology set um and it's nice because they ship to you every two months on the dot i never run out like i'm literally just about to run out and my shipment just came so cool and then i just started using this native coconut vanilla body wash i literally love it it also not only is clean and it actually hydrates your skin. When I get out of the shower and I put lotion on, my skin feels extra moisturized. And I've been using my lotion for a long time now. So I highly recommend this body wash. And there's a couple different, um, <laughs> I said flavors, a couple different scents. But I love coconut vanilla. And then I use this Celtic Sea Salt. You want to get the fine one. This is the normal size. But I use this as a exfoliator. So I wash my face first and then I exfoliate. My girl Hannah, I will leave her Instagram handle down below. Both of them, she just started and she's about to open up her salon and she waxes my eyebrows and she's so good at skincare. So she recommended this days ago and I've always used this. I use this about twice a week. And then I actually use this, I forget what it's called, I use it from Target. I do change it every month. It might be a waste, but I'm waiting to bite the bullet and get one of those brushes i forget what their name is called but this honestly 
does the job. I don't like using towels. It just feels like it's too rough. And this is very fine brittle. Um, the package actually says it's like made out of bamboo, I think. Um, but yeah, I use that. And then after the shower, I use this lotion, the CeraVe moisturizing cream is the best one. I like this one that doesn't have the pump because it is a little bit thicker that I've noticed. So I like this one's like more buttery. And then this Sea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening Restore and Leave-In Conditioner I use on my hair after the showers, but I did not wash my hair today. So I usually do use this. So those are my nighttime routine phase. Okay, you can see my skin a little bit better in this mirror now. I just moisturized. Yes, this is my skin, day one. Hey guys, what's going on? So today is now March 18th, it is the next day. I did not do the mask yesterday, just wanted to start fresh on a Monday. Um, so yeah, so I just got out of the shower, it is about 5.30, which I typically don't shower early, but I'm trying to set more guidelines and more of a structured day and week so I can be more productive, especially trying to balance moving here and seeing my family and being at their house, but also being home here and just making sure I still focus on myself. So my goal right now is to continue to do what I'm doing, but then also shower earlier and eat dinner earlier so I have the rest of the night to get things that I need to get done. So showered and i'm going to put on the sea mask so i will see you in a second after i put it on but this is my skin my skin has actually been looking really good nice and close Don't look at the eyebrows okay see you in a second there's a small little jar that she sent me let's see if i can open it I'm so excited. Okay, here she is. It actually feels so like soothing. It's cold. Doesn't have a weird texture to it. Kind of feels like applesauce. All right, so I'll just sit on for about 20 minutes and then I'll check in with you guys after. Okay, so I'm about like eight minutes into my face mask and can you see, there's kind of a film on my face. It's a little restrictive. It feels a little sticky and tight now, but honestly, I'm into it. And the smell, I can't figure it out. It doesn't really smell like anything to me. It doesn't smell like the ocean. Yeah, there's no really, there's no smell. So I'm into it. It's not itchy at all. It doesn't burn. So I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. Today is May 19th. I am just showing you day one after the face mask. So what I did notice, which I don't know if this is like what's supposed to happen, but what I did notice was after I took off the mask, all like the little like blemishes that I have that like aren't that big, but like they're like I have some on my cheeks and here, they all came to the surface. I don't know if it's a coincidence or what, but... We'll try again tonight and I will show you guys again tomorrow morning. Hope you guys are having a great day. <laughs> Not looking my best. Oh. I just got out of the shower. I feel great. If you don't feel good, go take a shower. Ooh, I put on some reggae music. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it is that time again of the day. I do my face mask. This is my skin today. My skin actually feels really dry right now. So I'm excited to put this face mask on. Today, I'll give you a little update. 
I went to the beach. Guys, I needed that so, so, so bad. Sorry for this angle, but I'm short, and if I do it this way, then I have to kneel. I'm just like, yeah, it's just, it is what it is, so. Um, yeah, I went to the beach, had myself a little cry because it was so good. So, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very high on life, as you could say. But, yes, I'm going to do my face mask. I'll be right back. Why do I always do the peace sign? I don't know, but she's on. So, let this sit on for about 15, 20 minutes. I don't really think I'm going to show after I have it on. Because I'll show you in the mornings. I feel like, I don't know. Makes a point, like, do you really want to see my face three times during the day, in the morning, before I put on my face mask, putting on my face mask, and then after? I feel like that's a lot. So, well, that's three. Well, that's four. You already seen me three. So, see you in the morning. I hope you guys all sleep well. I can't wait to sleep. I love sleeping. Favorite time of the day. Good morning guys i just woke up <laughs> as you can see it is may 20th it is like 7 30 i woke up this morning so early but i'm here for it this is today's skin nice and close i did feel a little something bit me but this is my face I can already see my skin looks a little bit brighter and like more like tight. I usually have really bad wrinkles, but in this spot right here is fading. So I'm here for it. I will check back in with you guys later tonight. I hope you guys have a great day. Yes, it is that time. I have my face mask on. I like how it's like you can barely see it. Like this is it up nice and close. So I'll leave it on for about 25 minutes. No, 20 minutes. And then I will see you guys in the morning. Sorry, it's shaking. My arms are really tired from working out. But yes, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it is now May 21st. It's about 1030. I've been up actually for a little bit, but it's been a very slow morning. I feel exhausted. It's definitely probably my workout from yesterday killed me. I felt so hungry all day, and I actually haven't been tracking my macros this past week and a half. I really have been in a good place of where... I'm not obsessive over food and I just wanted to try not counting my macros and see if my relationship with food will get any better and I feel like I don't think about it as often. I just eat when I'm hungry and I eat what sounds good. I do make sure I eat enough protein, just making sure like I, I usually drink or eat uh, two servings, two and a half servings of my protein powder that I get. Uh, and then I usually have some type of fish throughout the day or tofu. Um, but yes, here's my skin today. I got my crazy eyebrows. I definitely have seen a huge difference in the tightness of my skin. My skin, I feel like I don't have as many wrinkles. And I just feel like my skin, like my cheek, looks super tight. And actually, I have been on this kick of wanting to try more vegan healthy products and you know I realized like I eat very healthy you know what I put in my body is very healthy but not everything I use on my body is very organic vegan uh, and so I kind of just wanted to change it and actually have recently purchased a whole new line of hair stuff purposely for my curls but vegan organic cruelty free um and then i just purchased new lip balm chapstick lotion 
skincare and body wash <laughs> and actually I don't want to say where I got it yet just because I don't know the products but if I start using them I like it it is not expensive for everything for my hair and my skin everything I bought with tax and shipping everything cost probably about 150 bucks which is not bad at all and a lot of that stuff is comes in big containers so I will be able to use it for a long period of time I am using Cureology on my skin and I actually use the uh the app think sorry look horrendous right now but I use the app think dirty and I used it in the past so sometimes I haven't and sometimes I just don't use it but I was like ah, let me just check on these things and I checked up Cureology and although they're only like a four it's not even bad I do really like it but I feel like it has done its job because I'm off birth control now it's just not exactly what I need and so again I want to try to go more towards vegan cruelty free skincare and so I was like you know I'm gonna try something else and I actually think the stuff that I just ordered is gonna be a lot cheaper than Curology. Curology is still not expensive I pay $60 every two months for face wash lotion and then um, a treatment for my dark pigmentation but because I'm now using this face mask that's supposed to help that and then another the other face care stuff that I just bought is the same thing and it's cheaper so I'm like oh let's just why not try it so yes that is a little update so when I get all that stuff in I will show you guys I do have really good skin but I just I don't know like I do have some like dark pigmentation and I do want my skin to be a little bit brighter but I know it's going to take time. But yeah. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I will check in with you guys later this afternoon. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a beautiful day to be alive. And it's a beautiful day to just grow and love everything around you and anyone around you. And love yourself more importantly. So alright. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. Welcome back. It is now evening time. I just showered and I'm going to put my face mask on. Just wanted to check in and say, hey, I actually just got in a new package from Sephora, the new beauty products I'm going to be using on my hair. So I got like a shampoo, conditioner. I think I got like a sculpting cream and then a hydrating like cream. So actually I will do a little unboxing with you guys after my face mask on. So see you in a second. Okay. So, I am going to open up my package from Sephora. I don't usually shop, but I'm on, like I said earlier today, I'm on this hype of wanting to get more natural, I guess, beauty products. Like, why not? Like I, like I said, like I've been eating so well and so healthy, my body's finally feeling good. So, I'm like, why not? get the whole shebang so let's see it i ordered i might butcher this the name of the product brogio 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 i think that's what it's called so what i got it kind of came all so i got the brogio curl charisma rice amino plus avocado weave in defining cream this is what it looks like. And then I also got the Borgio Curl Charisma Chia Flax Up before my mom called me. Our puppy, I guess Joey's not puppy, he's six. He had to go to the vet today. He had a um, like blister on his paw and they, and they might think it's a foxtail that's stuck in his paw. And it's like really swollen and just like oof and my mom said actually they wanted to put him down to see if they could go inside of it to see if it's a fox tail and everyone was like no so they put him on antibiotics so just pray that he's okay anyways so yeah i got this curl charisma defining cream and then i also got the borgio curl charisma chia flaxseed coil custard so th these two come in the curl charisma pack so that's like one of the lines that they have is these two and then i did not get the shampoo conditioner line i did get the borgio be gentle be kind banana coconut nourishing superfood conditioner and shampoo yeah. 
So the reason for this purchase and why I got these was because I follow this girl called Mel by Names, I think is her Instagram and her YouTube. I will link her down below. But if you have curly hair, I highly recommend going to her channel and watching all her stuff. She is literally the most intelligent, smartest person I know that goes into scientific detail about why you want to use certain products with the proteins if your hair is dry and like literally there's just so much to it so I definitely recommend going to her page she just did this like hair care routine I think like last week and she used one of the other um lines from Borgia it wasn't the curl charisma I forget what the other one was um and she said this works best on her hair and we kind of have similar hair and so does her sister forget her sister's name but I believe you'll find her when you go to her page because she has longer curly hair like me while Mel has kind of shorter more coarse hair but yes that's the reason for this purchase and all of these together tell me, doesn't tell me but I believe there's like $106 for all four and I did get it from Sephora Amazon didn't have I think the Borgia Curl Charisma and if I had just bought this from Sephora and the other three from Amazon with tax and shipping honestly it would all came out to be the same and I do have a Sephora account so I was like it's just smart to just buy it from Sephora and I think it came within a week so although um actually did say it was supposed to come by the 26th and it came early so yes I did get that and I do have my face mask on and I will See you guys in the morning. Good morning. Today is Friday now. I think May 22nd. This is the final look. My skin is so nice. It. I think the complexion completely changed. My skin tone is more even. I have had no breakouts this past week. My skin and my pores feel tighter, my pores feel smaller. Overall, I love this product. I highly recommend it. I think she's gonna start selling it, so I will link her Instagram down below and so you can check out her Instagram and I will tell her to post a little bit more about her face mask, her CMOS face mask, sorry. Ugh. It's literally so loud because they're doing construction. Um, but yeah, I will have her post more about her CMOS face mask because like it even oh, everyone deserves to feel beautiful as much as I do right now so thank you for staying tuned for this past week and my skincare mask updates I will catch you all next time well it's about almost two and a half months later since I filmed this other part of my video but today is now May nope it's June 9th well okay so I just got out of the shower and I just wanted to tell you guys I got another package of new products I'm using it is from cosmetology uh I got this is actually a lotion which I will show you guys it's really cool this lotion I also got body wash and a lip balm yeah so I will show you those two after, but I'm going to show you this lotion since I just got a shower and I'm about to put lotion on. It's amazing. So I actually am starting to also use the Borgio shampoo and conditioner, which I absolutely love. You guys need to get that. And then I'm also going to, after I brush my hair, I'm going to go in with the Borgio Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. So I just go in with that at night. I do put my hair in like a low bun or braid typically just to keep the moisture in my hair. I feel like my hair just stays nice and moisturized throughout the night. Or if I don't, I will put my bonnet on as you saw in the video a little bit earlier. So I'm just gonna put this in my hair real quick and I will show you guys the lotion. and it looks like a deodorant so 
what it looks like. See it? Okay, I'm just gonna go in. I'll do it on my arm so you can see it. So can you kind of see the shine? And I just rub it in after. I also like the fact that it's super small. It's super easy to put on. You don't need a whole lot. Little goes a long way. I did find that it feels a little, I don't wanna say oily, because it doesn't feel oily. It almost has like the texture of, I don't even know. I don't know how to describe it. I kind of just put it on like everywhere, honestly, and then I just rub it in. I do find that you have to kind of put it up high so it doesn't get like, you can't, doesn't scrape you. That's the only, I would say, down part to it having like this in an applicator like this. Um, but to be honest, it's a lot easier to carry with me everywhere I go. Okay, my stomach. If you don't put on lotion after the shower everywhere, you're doing something wrong. I literally put lotion on everywhere. I do miss the fact of being able to like rub it in like I typically would with lotion. And I feel like it's a lot easier to miss a spot. But I also found my legs did stay more moisturized throughout the day than it would with any other lotion. But if you guys have any other lotions that you guys love, let me know. I'm always down to try something new. But again, this is from Cosmetology. I found this online. I actually found this from the Think Dirty app.